Greetings and salutations. So we are back and we're ready to do that dungeon. I did find a room I missed. And there is some good advice concerning the dungeon to be had here. I'll show you the way to the studio. Remember it. Go with the wind. If you look at which way the torch flame bends, you'll understand. Down the dark street, through where the wind blows, to where you can hear the waterfall. Then look for the place where the sound of the waterfall is loud. Ishtar's studio is in front. Be careful. Interesting that they warn you. Once a human woman named Kara came here. Oh. Ishtar praised her beauty. And then she went to his studio. So I wonder what naughty old Ishtar is up to. Shame on him. Hopefully nothing untowards. And uh, now I'm going to wander aimlessly as I try to figure out where to go. But I remember well enough. Here is the dungeon. Not a terribly difficult stretch by any means. The enemies here are standard video game fare, that's for sure. Bats and skeletons. We love bats and skeletons. Wow, this, uh, those guys do dish out some curtains. And since we did upgrade the Psycho Slider, or Psycho Dash, excuse me, let's uh, charge it up and see how how much of a punch it packs. Well, we did take out that bat really quick. Eh, it's alright, I guess. Unless there's something we're missing to it. Maybe if we double tap the button, or let it charge even longer? Nope. Nothing special about it. I guess it just does a little more damage. And of course, once you have the slider, it's really kind of worthless. Uh, you do need to charge to use his ultimate skill, if I remember correctly, so we will be doing that, I guess, but why am I wandering? This game does lack maps, so it is, you know, it can get a little tricky sometimes, trying to find your way around, even if you're familiar. Psycho Slide. Huh? Oh, we got some strength. Always use that. Let's make sure we didn't miss any chests or anything like that. Okay, good. We do have quite a few enemies in here. As you can see, point of strength does make Quite a difference in this game. Oh, these things, I remember these. Really just better off whacking them. I think we can slide into them. No, not a good idea. Oh. -ho. You don't slide into them, unless you do it from the side, then slide into them. I don't know, if, so there's no chests here, where all these rooms go. I don't want to go down. I'm going to check many of these rooms as we can. Oh, keep our eye on that one. I'm going to try to clear out all the enemies here. 
I mean, I said I feel like I've been missing things. This game isn't exactly filled with secrets, but what it does have in the way of secrets is, um, it does have a substantial effect on it. Let's see. Hopefully we'll get a life bonus or something. A heart would be nice. I really prefer not to die in here. Oh. Clear out this area. Of course it won't really matter too much if we do die. It'd be nice if we could get some herbs too. I have been considering, um, at least at the end of the game here, fighting there is, there is, um, a series of bosses, I'll put it that way. And I've been considering fighting them with maybe Shadow... Oh, well, I should have said the name. Kind of gives it away. But I've been considering them, like, fighting them with someone other than Will. Namely because... Oh, good. Namely because, um... We'll already have bought just about everything with Will anyway. Of course it will come become more clear as we go on in the game. Like I said, I don't want to give too much away. But I think it would be interesting for the sake of comparisons. And I am out of... I am low on herbs in this playthrough. I don't know, oh, I am going in circles here. I talk, talk, talk. Um, was it this way? Is that the way I went down? Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of herbs or anything. I think if I fought Cast Off better, I'd be in a better place with that. And I am not fine. I found that door when I didn't want it, of course. So, uh, yeah. There's some things up. Well, I'm even on the right level here. There's some things up. I think it would just be best. Oh, there we go. Finally. Having more trouble with this place than Moo. If. Yeah, it would just be best if we did it that way. That's what I'm trying to get out as I wander around this dungeon. Like a schmuck. Like a noob. You know, illusion of Gaia noob, right? Worst kind of noob to be. There we go. I do like the darkness effect in here. And you can kind of see like there's early experimenta uh, bleh, experimentation, I keep getting my words mixed up, with lighting. And there is a secret in here somewhere. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. I found a hidden passage. Of course, Illusion of Gaia certainly isn't the pioneer of experimenting with lighting, even on the SNES. Um, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past did it several years before IOG came out, so... I don't know how I took a hit there. 
guess it was still considered somewhat alive. Oh, what's this? You found a red jewel, great. Oh, well, gotta slide through. Hmm, this is very windy. This place used to give me a problem when I was younger. Oh, thank you, some life. You do get substantially stronger in this area. I feel like you do get a lot of power-ups for a very small dungeon. The enemies can be dangerous, I probably make it look easy. I've been through this so much. Of course, it's not a particularly hard game, in my opinion. It does have a few tough bosses and some tough puzzles, but aside from that, and I think one of these statues has a gem. Keep looking. Upgrade the Dark Friar as soon as possible. Hmm. Oh, there's nothing there. Now, I wonder what it would have been like trying to figure this stuff out years ago. Like, I think I was able to figure it out on my own. I don't think I needed to look in the book. I think I tried not to play with the book so much my first time around. The second time I did use it to get all the red gems. Wind blows through a crack in the wall. Found a hidden passage. Nice. Love that animation. Love nice touches in this game. Even right here is a nice sense of tension. What are we going to find? Oh, that's Kara. Her face is somewhat flat. I'm kind of surprised. Huh. Kara's picture. She's contained inside it. How does he know that? How does he know she's trapped in it? I guess that might be his psychic power. Hard at work again. Oh, and who's this? The busy painter? If he'll talk to us. I wonder if you're here to get Kara. Go into this room. If you solve all the riddles, I'll give back the girl. Okay. Wonder what's on this painting. Oh. Let's check this out. Ishtar voice resounds. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. So we'll take a good look. Make sure we know everything about it. Hopefully I won't screw this up. Ishtar's voice resounds. Show how it's different from the room before. And I like how you get like this little cursor to do this with. Like, this only appears once in the game. Right answer! The jar has changed color. Good, go in the next room. Well, you can tell he's a bit touched. Jar didn't change color, it's just that there's two different colored jars. Ishtar's Apprentice. When you solve the puzzle of the room, you may pass. Oh. 
Good times. I guess maybe you guys heard my phone going off. Sorry about that. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. We have the two young ladies. We have stuff, rock. These, uh, these angel folk are really good at decorating, aren't they? Ishtar's voice resounds. Show how it's different from the room before. I'm actually not sure. Are your, how are your powers of observation? Now your trip will get more difficult. Try again. Huh, what did I miss? Uh, you know, I thought it was the pots. I did. But I thought, well, they wouldn't do, like, different colored pots again, would they? I was thinking ahead, actually, by picking well, and we'll see why. Right answer. Go on. Next room. Do this several million more times. Of course, if we go that way, we'll bump into the apprentice and he'll say blah blah blah. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. You found an herb. Well, good. And we don't need to repeat this, and of course, it's the chest, because what else would it could be? What else could it be? Yes, a red jewel, good. Will's collecting those family jewels. And let's see what's beyond here. See, this is where I was thinking ahead. That is what is different. It's the wind. Right answer. The wind blew your hair around. You have passed my test well. You may return. See, this is definitely an interesting interlude in the game. Oh, and there's Ishtar. Handsome as ever. I have been waiting for you. Sprinkle magic powder on the painting and give it a kiss. If you care about her deeply, something will happen, you'll see. I paint it a self-portrait. Soon I will become the painting. You must take care of her. So basically these people are... I guess kind of offing themselves by becoming paintings? Interesting. I guess they don't see much point in life. Out emotions. Mm. Well, let's give Harry some of that magic powder. He tries using the magic powder. He spreads magic powder in Kara's picture. Kara, please return to your original form. Will gently kisses the picture of Kara. And there she is. Will, sorry for being so selfish. Kara, you make me so mad. You're the, not the only person on this journey. Wow, Will's laying down the, uh, journey rule book. Throwing it at her. Go, Will. You say stuff and things. Silence from poor Kara. Wah, sob, sniff. I sob. I don't know what I'm doing myself, sob. When I was in the castle, I could have anything I wanted. But I was a completely different person before the trip. Naturally, it's a mistake to think you can control everything. No. When I'm far away, I feel close to it. When I'm close, I feel far away. I realize that now. It's alright if you don't understand. I will never forget what happened today. 
and then they return to the guest house or cave <laughs> classy here I was worried why are you always running around alone don't you think about the rest of us will already yell at me about that my apologies to everyone so this is really the turning point in the game for really does start to become a sort of different person. I guess after almost being killed by a painting, I guess that's a life changing experience to say the least. She understands now, we should forgive her. You know, I've never really uh, appreciated just how much uh, Neil is the voice of reason in this game. I think the floating city is about three days south of here. I think we should go there right away. Tell me when you're ready. We'll give everyone a quick talk. Lily will have her birthday while we're in the floating city. In the floating city, many houses are built on rafts. Kind of romantic. I like it. Kara looks a little strange. Has something happened to Kara? My intuition is usually good. Oh, I don't want any more pee pee jokes, Eric. I think I saw a red jewel in the Angel Village. Oh. Oh. Okay. Can we go now? Sure. I think it's very hot in the floating city. Everyone be careful not to get heat stroke. I do rather like this next area. And I can't believe how much uh, progress we've made in this game already. I remember as a kid it took me about two weeks to beat it, if not a little more. Watermia. Watermia? Watermia? Whatever. We went to the water city, Watermia. Okay. Or Redundantia. Redundantia, there we go. The townspeople have been kindly put us up at the house of young Luke. This is Luke's house. He's a lovable young fisherman. Exciting. I'm going out on a long fishing voyage. You can use my house while I'm gone. I guess that's what Luke said. Or say, put it in Will's text color. I don't know why. There we have the parte. I'm not going to talk to anyone yet. Instead, we're going to pop outside. And I'm going to try to remember which house has the um, save point in it. We'll encounter some interesting things in here too when next we play the game. Now we're just going to go for <laughs> that guy's hat. Yeah, I'll show that to you guys again. That hat. He's a very special NPC wearing that hat, right? It's, it's how you know you're a special NPC when they give you a big straw hat. That's how you've made it as an NPC. There we go. There's the portal. So I will sign off now. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I love sharing this special game with you. This has been a big part of my life many years. Probably the last time I'm going to play it, too. So, I certainly wanted to share it. So, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support I've gotten. Until next time, good luck. Happy gaming.